so this is the dashboard uh, which i found to be interesting not only in terms of visuals even with some of the interesting functionalities so let's say here we have like uh, to explain the dashboard to give the context so what this uh, dashboard does is basically so they have like customer support case and they have categorized them into different category like severe impact high impact medium and low okay and on top of that there are some visuals you know which which is like explaining stuff so here if you see we have like total 31 total case and five of them open and if you see in the right side it's just telling the distribution so the thick one represents the open cases and the light one represents the total cases and the same thing is applicable here as well as you can see like two dots near total and one of them near open then in the next we have like year over year growth it just tells like what is the total year growth in terms of each of the status of each case then if you scroll to right uh, here in terms of like last 12 months it shows up and uh, next we have the distribution in uh, stacked bar chart and in bottom we have in terms of like granular level case details quickly let me open this dashboard in tableau yeah, public yeah, yeah, just a minute what is that two dots near 31 total mean uh, so the dark one represents the open cases and the light one represents those are like closed as you can see okay. here we have 31 total and five of them are in dark and on the right side you have you have one dot and one triangle like play button near closed uh, and so there's 134 level right 411 uh, status open closed on the top right graph top right graph huh. yeah. so uh, there's a, a panel uh, to the left of the graph uh huh ha huh. at the bottom of the panel yeah there's one play button like that right what's that uh i think it's just a icon there is no any functionality as it's behind it okay okay cool yeah now uh, let me open this in tableau public so first of all if you look at the data set right and this guy actually haven't put any efforts so basically he has used the sample super stores and he did some you know like created new columns regarding status if you see so this is the one which will be using everywhere in the dashboard almost so if you see he has just used the length of like or the ship mode and he has just mentioned high low medium just for creating the sample data and one more thing which i found status press type again here he has just uh, open or close status if you observe here he has used the customer name and based on customer name he is just mentioning whether it's open or closed and uh, this one i found impressive because even now uh, in terms of intents uh, we are just working on the sample data collection right we can even suggest them some technique like this rather than uh, them uh, making our excel sheet for uh, each of the data they can take some data source and they can write some conditional statements like this so in that way they can generate new column for data rather than uh, collecting the excel data from all the way from top to end so this one i found to be useful in terms of data collection and next if you observe here so he has axis independent if you see the range everything will be different and once you change it to uniform right everywhere we love the common uh, axis and range and i thought actually he is using some parameter and uh, doing the sheet swapping wherein in one of them he fixed the axis and the other one he just left it automatic but actually uh, he is using some calculations he is using only one sheet in total but if you observe for axis uh, he is using one calculation which includes lods and stuff so if someone selects uniform he is referring to this field and if you observe this field what he has done is so he has written some lod in terms of status and month of date is counting the order id and he is fixing it for per region and last two months and the reason why he has done this is he is using the region and last 12 months in terms of filter so in that way our axis based on the parameter selection it would change and um, the, uh, either it's uniform or independent it remains the uh, same based on the calculation behind it so this is also one of the new or interesting functionality which i came across so that, that's about the left side if you go to the right one 
so this one is also a bit interesting so if you observe here he has used uh, uh, this dummy axis a lot just to get the numbers on top of it if you observe he has created like two dummy axis one is just sum of zero and the next one is uh, average of zero so what this average zero does is it's basically giving us you know the gap uh, so let's say if we remove this you can observe there is uh, no gap in between or otherwise let me show the header here so if you see like this status and all details it's there in text and it's uh, taking the sum zero the dummy axis just to show it on top of it and the other dummy axis he has just created uh, just to show the blank it doesn't matter either it's average of zero or sum of zero we can do use either of them uh, so in that way he managed to show all the statuses in a single bar chart with the headers and uh, the numbers which are not so the use of dummy axis and the measure name measure values which i found again it's new for me and interesting so next uh, he has some dashboard actions in terms of status open or closed so let's say once you click on the closed ones the, this right side you know um, stack bar chart will filter accordingly in terms of open like what is the distribution between low medium high severe it will show up and if you click on the closed it will just again change it so i now understood like when the, wherever we are having this icon right we have click action it seems so here here yes even let's then click action then a triangle since i think we have a triangle here we expect some click action i guess yeah ah okay cool so you can so you click like graph then the graph so you click that 130 then the graph will you know get filtered yeah, yeah we have so some dashboard action yeah okay so that's what you mentioned click action uh, and lastly here we have granular level detail even this tab a table i found it to be interesting so as you can see here this low medium he has even cared about the lines on the starting and lines at end for this actually he has used the dual axis again as you can see one is sum zero and the other one is sum one so which occupies the left and right part of the uh, dual axis just these lines and uh, yeah the one represents the color it is basically actually it seems to be text but there is a bar chart or gantt chart lying behind uh, to show in terms of this type of ui and uh, next if you observe actually here you can see these dots but this is only for some of them so what this conveys is if someone has selected so let me go back to dashboard so here i have selected you know like 14 days so if something is greater than like 14 days open it will just show up these dots let's say if i change it to 13 then in that case whichever is greater than 13 or uh, will appear so oh, i have changed it to 10 anything greater than or equal to 10 there will be a dot so which signifies these are uh, things needs to be taken care of then again if you view here we have button plus and minus so based on the selection it changes uh, if you view it's actually a parameter action and if you look into the calculation of this one um, there's a calculated field plus days plus so whenever you click on it uh, it will be adding like days plus one and this plus field will be passed into the parameter which are we have as this so which we created just to show the parameter actions let me open the actions so if you view the parameter one so here this is for the uh, plus days so based on the selection the days uh, the parameter will be incre incremented and the source field which is plus uh, 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 which is like parameter days plus one will be passed into the parameter so that's how the incrementation is happening here and the same thing like days minus one is passed into this particular icon so once you click on minus the number of days will get decremented so this acts some sort of you know like interesting functionality and the everywhere it's dynamic once we pass the parameter we can capture that parameter and we can add it to text so we can show everywhere else and uh, with this again we have one more functionality whether sort by days open or status so for that he has used two fields and yes uh, hidden them let me show the uh, hidden and for this field as well 
so if you see this calculation field will be sorted based on status let's say once i change it to status impact uh, here you can uh, see this field will be populating and the sorting is happening so this is like given the primary and the next one this order id is sorted by default in terms of number of days open so let me click on sort so if you can see yes uh, sorted in descending some days open and the other one by default actually this will be sorted based on this and whenever you want to sort it by uh, impact uh, this calculation tool will help so based on our selection the calculation tool will uh, pop up or open up so in that way this sorting is done apart from that functionalities yeah that's it so these are the functionalities which i found to be new majorly the sorting on the days increment decrement and like all the labels and bar graph in a single chart then this axis independent and the uniform so these are some of the new functionalities which i came across so any doubts or questions Okay, if no further questions, uh, let's close it.